Thank you guys so much for joining me today. What we're going to talk about today is debt to income ratio. Why is debt to income ratio important? Why is this something that's needed in, in the home buying process? We're going to get straight into it. Debt to income is very important. You want to be mindful of credit cards, car loans, and all these different, <laughs> these are debts that, that just don't bring any value to yourself. That's things that you just want to be mindful of when you're dealing with debt to income ratio. For example, you and your wife can make, let's say, 8,000 a month. You, you, between you guys both, you make 8,000 a month, but you guys have two cars, you guys have credit cards, student loans, so many things that take you away. Even though your income can be this good, but you have all these debts that just set you so far away from your home ownership goal. So you wanna be so mindful of debt to income and I don't think a lot of us really talk about the importance of that. It really determines the value of the loan that you can qualify for. It also determines if you can qualify for FHA or conventional. You really want to be mindful of your debts. I'm blessed that I didn't start getting credit cards until I got married and my wife is far more responsible with managing money than I am. So let's stay away from unnecessary debts. Assets are important. Things that bring value, things that appreciate and not depreciate. Cars, as soon as you drive them off the lot, <laughs> they devalue. Tennis shoes, clothes, they devalue. Assets, stocks. I mean, you know, I'm not really big on cryptocurrency, but you know, if that's something that brings also more revenue, you can dabble into that. Real estate equity all those things appreciate in value and those are the things that you want to be involved in debt to income is very important in this home buying process you can have the high credit score you can have the great income but if your debt to income ratio is not if your debt to income ratio doesn't match that requirement it doesn't matter there's only a certain amount that you will be qualified for. Now, this is not saying that you can't be qualified at all. I'm saying the amount of what you can be qualified for. In Stockton, we are now averaging $415,000 per home. That's the average sale price for the Stockton area. So if you're getting pre-approved for 250, 300,000, we know we got more work to do. Start paying down student loans, start paying down you know, your cars, credit cards, pay those up. These are things that helps build your value in this real estate game. So we gotta really start being mindful of debt to income. I'm here to educate, I'm here to help, I'm here to help you guys get into this game strong. In this market, we're not in a market of free. There's no um, sellers paying closing costs. There's no more you know, sellers meeting your terms, you have to meet their terms. And now the asking prices are going over 40,000, going over 50,000, some even 100,000 if they're paying the difference of the appraisal. It's a crazy market here in the Central Valley. So we have to completely just understand what we want to do to, to put ourselves in the positions to buy here, debt to income. It's okay if you're not ready to buy at this very moment, but it's also not okay to not educate yourself and prepare yourself. This is probably a, a, one of the biggest videos that I can do is debt to income. Getting all of those things established, getting those, erasing those debts. Now I'm not saying all debts are bad. If you buy your first car and you get a, a, a $12,000, $10,000 car and you finance that car and you have no plans on buying a home anytime soon and you're young and you're just needing a, a mobile vehicle to get to work, great. I'm speaking for the people that are ready to buy, ready, to, you, you had your car for a few years, you've saved up some money, you have a job for over two years, let's start paying down these credit cards, let's start paying down these debts. These are the people that I'm speaking to and we wanna just be ready for that. Be so mindful of debt to income ratio. I don't think we talk about it enough. And I have a whole video here telling you guys why. It is so important to make sure that we are strong in this market. It is a big competition. People coming from the Bay Area, people coming from Sacramento, people coming from these larger areas, 
and they have the capital. Um, and even also they have the requirements. I know my first buyer coming from the Bay Area, moving to Stockton, she didn't have any debts. You know, I know at the time uh, she had recently just divorced and so she was living with her mother, but I know she, she had always mentioned in her marriage, she cleared all her debts and she made sure it was that way up until, you know, her divorce. And it was easy to buy a home. She had 60% cash. She didn't have any debts. And then your, your margin of value goes so much higher. Not only are you able to get conventional because there are, biz, there are benefits of conventional. It's not um, you have to pay 20% down. It's 3% down and my lender can provide down payment assistance with conventional. And there's, there's programs that, that helps. I know that my buyer, she got her closing costs paid by the lender because she paid her whole down payment. So there's so many, pro, there's so many programs out there. Now conventional, it is a, a 660 higher credit score requirement, but it's what's strong. It's where we have to be in this market. Now, if you're not there, let's start educating and prepare ourselves so that we can get there. And of course, I'm going to always bring you guys this content and bring you guys these videos so you are fully prepared and ready to go in this market. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you are enjoying the, the value that I'm bringing to you guys. In this market, it is 150% a seller's market. So as a buyer, you got to be ready to come with terms, not asking for too much from the seller. Yes, you can still have an inspection. But just understand some of those repairs and upgrades may be on you. This seller's market, man, see, people are able to sell their property as is. And people are going above asking. And, of course, the more work you put into your property, the more value you get back from it. I just can't stress it enough, man. Let's get strong in this market. Debt to income. Let's pay down these debts. Whatever it is, man, I had... When I, before I got married, that was the first thing me and my wife did. We clear out our debts, sprint bills, anything that's been in collections, I'll say longer than two, three years. I know that was a time frame that I was dealing with. You really want to pay those off. I don't care if it's, it's basically, for example, I had an $800 sprint bill um, that was sent to me, didn't pay it off. My wife basically told me, hey, we're going to call them. Tell them all you have is 300 bucks. You can pay that today, right now. And, you know, we close it out. They, of course, they're going to always negotiate. Oh, well, we could take 400 or we could take 500. They're going to try and talk you up a little bit. Say, hey, this is all I got. And this is what I can do to take care of that. They will work with you. Get those creditors off your back. Get those things paid for. And then they also provide you with a letter showing that this account has been closed. So it's okay, man. It, just pay the fee. OK, just pay the little couple of dollars just to get those debts cleared. Um, if you want to work with a credit repair person, that's completely up to you. Um, I in my personal experience, I haven't heard as of, you know, them being as effective as, you know, in my experience. Everyone is different. I'm not downplaying credit repair, but if that's something you feel comfortable with, by all means, go get help. And you can also help yourself. You can do it yourself. Like I said, just pay something to help yourself man i really hope you guys took value from this video i really hope you guys understand what i'm trying to tell you in the debt to income ratio pay off the debts get higher value on your loans just so you can get in the game at this market or if you want to wait hey continue renting it's up to you you guys have a great day and stay safe